whole life I always knew I was special Even with no remainders I could always move a decimal Money on my mind while the girls that made un beso Hustlers in my blood and it's running through my vessels Just trying to clear the threshold Just trying to make a way In my race against time I could see an early grave School to prison pipeline 12 years a slave Suspension and detention is conditioned for a cage the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Jesse Hart calls out Edgar Berlinga. You may notice we lost Trill Dollar Bill, but he's going to come back uh, in a second. So let's listen to what Jesse Hart had to say about fighting Edgar Berlinga. The super middleweight contender, Jesse Hart. Jesse has someone on his mind right now, Jesse. And who is that? Edgar Berlinga. Um, I want to fight him. You know, like Tim Bradley said, I was licking my chops at that fight. I'm, I, I've never been so more sure of myself in a, in a fight. I, I really want to, this one I'm doing for me. I need to fight him for myself. He's knocking everybody out. And I want to, you know, I, I, I want that status of a Muhammad Ali when he beat George Foreman. When George Foreman was knocking everybody out, big, bad, strong guy. He did it for himself. When nobody else believed, he believed. And I believe in myself in this fight. And I want that fight. Were you offered the fight before Steve Rawls? Were you in the running for the fight, Chester? Yes, I was offered the fight. And um, his team turned it down. They kept turning me down. They turned me down about four times now. I need this fight to prove it to myself that I can be the puncher. Everybody keeps saying, you know, I, I have problems with punchers and with Joe Smiths. And, you know, I want to prove it. Prove this one to myself. I need to fight Edgar Berlinga for myself. I know he can't beat me. He can punch, but he can't box. And I know I have power of my own. He's the right guy at the right time. Jesse, what did he show you against Rolls? Showed me nothing. He showed me he can be beat. He showed me he can be knocked out. He showed me he, he can't box. He don't have a jab. He showed me he has heavy feet. He's a big, heavy bag with arms in my, in my eyes. This is the side fight, like Tim Bradley said. And he, in every punch he throw, you see, he come to the right. He come to the left. He come to the uppercut. He never, not once, had he showed boxing. He called a jab, smart. And he had three head trainers in his corner. Coach K, who trains to Corey Stevenson. He had um, Mickey Bay, who trains um, Devin Haney. And he had Dre, who trains countless champions. Daniel Jacobs, Curtis Stevenson. The list goes on with Dre. He had three head trainers in his corner, and he still couldn't fight his way through a wet paper bag. That's a bad thing. I want him. I know I, I, know I can do that. You want to give our Fight Hype fans a send-off, Jesse? Fight. That's what Jesse Hart had to say about Edgar Belenga. So I'll turn it over to Kaspira G, someone who was very impressed with Berlinga's last performance. What's your reaction to what Jesse Hart had to say? I'm being honest. I'm surprised other gentlemen in the in that division didn't call out Belinga after that performance because he's right. Yo, he he seemed pretty flat footed. He seemed too one sided. He seems like just a a power puncher, but not a boxer per se. So, if a guy that's more technically sound, more defensively sound, I think they will do a lot better. Against a Belinga than um uh what's that gentleman's name? Rose. Yeah, than than Rose did, you know. So like hey man, but I don't really know much about uh Jesse Hart's performance. You know what I mean? I gotta look at a couple more fights from Homeboy, but he talked he sounds real confident, you know what I'm saying? And the stuff that he was saying, it, it kind of reminds me of how what Tyson Fury was talking about with Wilder, you know, or even um uh uh damn, yeah, what's his oh man, how come I'm forgetting names right now? But I've heard other fighters in the past say the same thing when it's like, hey, man, listen, all right, that's that's your greatest weapon. You got a few, uh, you know, weapons. I can neutralize all of those things and what you have after that, you know. And Belinga hasn't really showed us that he can make adjustments, unlike, um, you know, Zayas, you know what I'm saying, that show, like, variations of style in his fight. So I don't know, I like what uh, uh, Jesse Hart was actually talking about with this Belinga fight. Dollar dollar bill, man. I mean, <laughs> now nah, I'm with you, G. I'm surprised, you know, a lot of people wasn't, you know, going crazy after the last performance. Um, um, you know, here's here's the thing. 
it was something that I wanted to talk about with Edgar Belenga, and it's it's it's. I wish I was more on on. on. I right, hear it is right here. I'm looking it up. I'm sorry. Excuse me. It was just something that he said on his Instagram. And he was like, uh, about people still hating or whatever, and he's getting richer. Right? <laughs> and it was like the bad response to have. You know, um, I get it. You know, um, it was a lot of critique on his fight. And I don't want him to think that it was people crapping on him. Because it wasn't people crapping on you, man, because they want to see you do good. It's just you have to be able to take the good with the bad with the Edgar Belinga situation. Like when you was knocking everybody out, you was taking all those praises and stuff like that. Now you got to take some criticism and it's not hate. It's people that generally got love for you and they just want to see you do good. So they might say, Hey, maybe you need to, you know, come forward with the jab instead of just coming in recklessly or have your hands up or go back to your old style instead of trying to become a finesse boxer. It's whatever. It's where people were just, I just wanted to let you know, it's not, it's not hate. It's like people generally like, like you. I'm looking in the comments. They really like you and they want to see you do well, but it seems like you've been taking a backward step your last two fights. And, and people that really got love for you and they want to see you do good. So it's concerning. So I just want to, if this message gets to you, I just want you to know, man, there's nobody's hating on you, man. They want to, they really want to see you do good. You know, they really want to see you do good. They just want to see you progressing in the right way. And that's why you're going to be hearing all these people calling you out now. Because they seen that it looks like you took a backward step. So you're going to have people like Jesse. And they was mentioning him during your fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is people that, you know what I'm saying, can give you fits and trouble. So, of course, this young man is going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm for it. And everybody else, too, now is looking. It's kind of like the Deontay Wilder effect. You know what I'm saying? The people feel like, oh, now all we got to do is just bring it to him. We got to just rush him. You know what I'm saying? Instead of giving him space and, and time to land that right hand, let's just rush him. So everybody started calling him out after his loss. It comes with the sport. Don't let it get you down, young Edgar Belenga. Just get back to the gym. Get back to the gym. You got too many uh, ears. <laughs> You have way too many ears in your corner, man. I get it. You can have these people there to help you in the gym and stuff like that on different techniques. But during fight time, it's always good it is to have one person. You know what I'm saying? That we can give you some good information and, and that you can internalize and take in instead of having everybody talking from every which way. Um, Edgar Belenga, just don't overthink it. That's what I wanted to say. Just don't overthink it. I, I, I feel bad. I wanted I wanted to say that before. I just, that's why I took this time. I felt bad for how everybody was coming down on Edgar Belinga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think of all the other prospects and the things that they had to go through coming up. You know? Of course, he's supposed to believe in himself. What you want him to say that he's not good? <clears throat> He has to have that confidence so he can, can keep going and keep competing, you know? So, um, shout out to Edgar Belenga. Um, focus on on, on, on on boxing. Get back to the gym and try to put on a better performance. But I'm letting you know that everybody's going to be coming out the woodwork. I'm talking about you're going to have guys that are smaller than you that think that they can take you out just because your last performances. But go back in there. Dedicate yourself to the sport and being a star and not the bling bling. Legacy. Not bling bling. Yo, know, can I add to? Um, Andre Ward said this during that fight, and I thought it was a gem. Andre Ward was like, Edgar Belenga is a victim of his own success. Knocking yeah. all these guys out in round one did no favors for this guy's career. You know what I'm saying? And although as fans, we love to see that, he's not getting the proper experience and exposure that he would need for a uh, tougher competition. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost like the wild effect. It's like, you being up on tuna cans, it looks great, 
But then when you fight a real deal, you get exposed. So hopefully, man, honestly, if he can get um, Andre Ward to, to come to the camp or uh, training and, and provide some insight, that'd be great. Go ahead. First of all, Wilder was beating on tuna cans, but Berlinga was knocking out stiff competition. He was knocking out stiff competition. <laughs> he said stiff. Everybody he knocked out was stiff. <laughs> 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 don't play on words, bro. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I was a, that's the only thing I wanted to bring up, man. Yo, uh, like, all right. that, my man Andre. That 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 that, that the team man, team. like we all said, everybody has a plan to they get punched in the mouth. And Jesse Hart, it sounds like you've been hanging around G and you put the battery in your back. So all I'm gonna say is I want to see it. I, I, you can talk the talk, but I want to see you actually perform in the ring. And I know every, Edgar, Edgar's last performance was not his best performance, and so he lacked a lot of like. Like I don't know. It just you look really vulnerable in his last performance. But I don't think he's the he's the guy everybody's making him out to be. Like he's still like you get he's beatable. He, the kid is talented. The kid has gifts. He got skills. And he's knocked out 16 people in a row for a reason. And when, I'm not going to take that away from him. So, Jesse, you, if, you gonna, if you say you can beat him, get in the ring with that man. I want to see it happen in the ring. That's all. Um, I'll start by addressing Jesse first. Jesse, you on one. We talk about this as like his Ali Foreman moment. There's, there's nothing like this is Ali Foreman. You're not Ali. He's not Foreman. This isn't even in that class. This is like contender journeyman type fights. Like I, I feel like, oh, uh, I should say prospect journeyman fight. I feel like Berlanga's a prospect and Jesse Hart, you a journeyman. Like at this mm -hmm. point, Jesse Hart got three L's. The one fight I saw for him, he lost to Joe Smith. Uh, was a close fight, but still, he lost the fight. And like he said, people say he has problems with punches. So now he's like, oh, I want Edgar Berlinga, and I can prove he's knocking everybody out. He's not knocking everybody out. He didn't knock out his last two opponents, so he's not knocking everyone out. He didn't knock out Steve Rose. And it's just like you getting all swollen in the chest because you saw his performance and you think you can beat him. That's what it is. I hope they make the fight, Jesse, because he's going to knock you out. And when he knock you out, when we see what type of energy you have. Here's the problem with Belenga right now. Belenga's problem is he's trying to fight a style that's not him. That's his biggest problem right now. You ain't Mickey Bay. Mickey Bay, stop trying to make him look <laughs> like you, <Exactly>. Mickey. <laughs> You're not a pure boxer. You're not a technical boxer. That's not what you are. You're more like Triple G. At best, you can hope to be what Triple G was, right? That's your ceiling. You're never going to be that smooth counter puncher. That's not you. So stop trying to be that. What you need to work on is varying your attack. You need to work in on coming in behind the jab. Everyone's noticed that about you. That's your biggest flaw. Like you just come walking in. You never, you don't walk in behind nothing, right? So those are those are some things you need to work on. You need to work on cutting off the ring better. Right? You should go to the body more. You need to you, you should you should utilize your left hook to the body more. So that way you could take something out of the, some wind out of your opponent's sails. So by the time the later rounds come along, they're not moving around so much. But the way like they, they got this guy fighting like you're not Danny Jacobs. I know that that guy trains Danny Jacobs, but great teachers realize what they got. And they utilize the skill set of that person, right? So if I got Jerome Bettis, I'm not going to try to run Jerome Bettis the same way I run Barry Sanders. You understand different skill sets. And I'm not going to run Barry Sanders the way I would run Jerome Bettis to say, all right, we're going in the power eye, Barry, and you're going to run straight up the middle. <laughs> like killed it. Uh, Barry's career been over super fast. Like that, all I'm saying is you got to utilize a person's skill set. Berlinger has power. He has some athleticism. 
He has some speed. You got to work on what he does well. Instead of trying to make him box, he needs more head movement. He needs more head movement. He needs to be one of those guys who's coming in side to side, trying to touch him to the head, hit him to the body. He needs to be one of those guys. What the hell are y'all doing? He's not Danny Jacobs. He's not Mickey Bay. He's not an effing technical boxer like that. He's he, At best, he can be a boxer puncher. At best, he can be a boxer puncher. So I hope he goes back to that style against Jesse Hart because he'll knock him out inside five rounds. That's how I feel. But keep talking, Jesse, because you know what they say. When you want and you keep talking and you want something so badly enough, you just might get it. And I hope in your case you get exactly what you're asking for. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros.